وفي خبر آخر أنه صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الجماعة And in another rendition, he صلى الله عليه وسلم said the جماعة I don't see that it's appropriate to translate this word جماعة We're going to just keep it in Arabic like a name وكيف يتناول هذا الاسم الخوارج وهم لا يرون الجماعة how would the Khawarij fit this description when they deem insurrection permissible? Oh, your Rawafid wahum la yaron al jama'ah. And how would the Rawafid be the jama'ah when they disregard the union to which the companions agree? Oh, your Mu'tazila ta wahum la yaron al sihat al ijma'ah. And the Mu'tazila are not the jama'ah because they disregard the consensus. أو ضرار الذي كان لا يحكم بظاهر حال عوام المسلمين. Or ضرار who used to say, I do not know if the common Muslims are really Muslims or if they are blasphemers. يقول لا أدري إن كانوا كفارا أو مسلمين. So what's here in the English is a little less than what's in the Arabic. Because doesn't need to, the meaning is covered without saying everything that's in the Arabic. Yani, nor Dirar, who used to not judge the apparent case of the Muslims. He used to not judge the laymen, the common Muslims, by what appears from them. That part's not there. Because it's covered. He used to say, I do not know if the common Muslims are really Muslims or if they are blasphemers. That means he doesn't take what appears. kullaha shirkun wa kufr. Maybe inwardly all of them are blasphemers and pagans. That is against the consensus of Ahlu Sunnah, who say that for sure the common Muslims are believers. وَكَذَا فَتَاوَى الْأُمَّةِ تَدُورُ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ فَرِيقَيِ الرَّأِيِّ وَالْحَدِيثِ Furthermore, the religious verdicts of the nation are the verdicts of Ahlu Sunnah, whether Hanafis or others. فَرِيقَيِ الرَّأِيِّ وَالْحَدِيثِ Whether Hanafis or others, that's not an exact translation. He's saying, from the two parties, the people of opinion and the people of Hadith, the people of opinion means the Hanafis and those like them, meaning all the madhhabs that are like the Hanafi madhhab, that style of ijtihad. And here, al-hadith, ahlul hadith here, it means the madhhabs of al-shafi'i, Malik, and Ahmed, and like their madhhabs. So, all the madhabs fell under two madhabs, two broader madhabs. The madhab of the people of opinion, legal opinion, professional legal opinion, qualified legal opinion, and the madhab of the people of hadith. That's a reference to their styles of ijtihad. Imam Ahmed, for example, says that a weak hadith is stronger itself than a man's ijtihad, a scholar's ijtihad. Whereas Abu Hanifa would, for example, resort to ijtihad before he uses a weak hadith. And most of the imams practice their religion according to these madhabs. مثل مالك والأوزاعي والزهري والليث بن سعد وأحمد Here you can see all these names. مثل like Now I'm not going to repeat those names. I'm going to say them here. مالك والأوزاعي والزهري والليث بن سعد وأحمد بن حنبل والسفيانين The two Sufians. Sufyan ibn Uyayna and Sufyan uh, ibn Thawr. Wa Yahya ibn Ma'in wa Ishaq ibn Rahawayh, the Shaykh of Bukhari. 
ومحمد ومحمد بن إسحاق الحنظلي ومحمد بن أسلم الطوسي ويحيى بن يحيى والحسين بن الفضل البجلي وأبي يوسف ومحمد وزفر وأبي ثور Abu Yusuf, that's the judge, the disciple of Abu Hanifa. And Muhammad is Muhammad ibn al-Hassan al-Shaybani. And Zufar also is from Abu Hanifa's squad. They were the imams. That whole squad, Abu Hanifa and his squad, they were the imams of their time. وَغَيْرِهِمْ مِنْ أَئِمَّةِ الْحِجَازِ وَالشَّامِ وَالْعِرَاقِ وَأَئِمَّةِ خُرَاسَانِ Ahlul Sunnah are the vast majority. The Imams of Al Hijaz, the Levant, Iraq, and the Imams of Khorasan. Wama wara al Nahr of of Khorasan in Iran, and the Imams beyond the Jehun River. In the old times, though, Iran was Sunni. Then the Shiites overran it. There's still Sunnis there, but the Shiites control it, and they are the majority. Someone might say in North America, we should face Northeast Qibla because that's the majority of Muslims in the United States and Canada. So it would be said to them, so if you go to Iran, you'll be a Shiite since they are the majority there. And then they would have no answer. وَمَنْ تَقَدَّمَهُمْ مِنَ الصَّحَابَةِ وَالتَّابِعِينَ وَأَتْبَاعِ التَّابِعِينَ Going back to those before them, amongst the companions, the followers, and the followers of the followers. Companions with the capital C, when it comes to the companions of the Prophet والسلام, and followers with the capital F for the tabi'un. وَدَاوُودُ الظَّاهِرِ يُعَدُّ مِنْ أَهْلِ sunnah. Also, Dawood al-Zahiri is counted amongst the people of the Sunnah. This man is someone who believed about himself that he was a mujtahid. That's what I learned from Haj Ali. He thought about himself that he was a mujtahid. And he's called al-zahiri because of his style of had, which was to not make qiyas, was to just take the hadith, for example, by what appears, and not to give the judgment of something that's not in the hadith. The judgment of what is in the hadith, which is qiyas. Rather, he would stick to what appears from the hadith and not make qiyas. That's an example of the practice, the practice of Dawood al-Zahiri and his madhab. But I don't have extensive details here. I have almost zero details, very little. But I asked about his case. Is he Sunni and I was told he is, he is counted as a Sunni. And his madhab is a weak one, and it's a dead one. You don't find anyone following that anymore. And what Haj Ali said was that, had this Dawood al-Zahiri debated Abu Hanifa, for example, Abu Hanifa would leave him perplexed, confused, because he wasn't really a mujtahid. And he has a follower amongst his followers. I don't think at the same time. I don't know what's the time. Uh, yeah, and if they were contemporaries or not. But Ibn Hazm is a follower of this Dawood al-Zahiri. So he's called Ibn Hazm al-Zahiri. This Ibn Hazm was a deviant man. Although he has a book that the Sunnis use. So don't be confused about the case of Ibn Hazm. This Ibn Hazm was a deviant man, and he has a book that the Sunnis use called Maratib al Ijma, the levels of the consensus. Why do the Sunnis use it? Because they found it accurate. So then they passed it on. But it's not due to any prestige from its author. He said that uh, Ibn Hazm, he said Al Bukhari is a trickster in hadith narration. And he said other things. And if you ever met, in my experience, Jan, someone who likes Ibn Hazm and follows Ibn Hazm in this day of ours, I haven't met someone who likes Ibn Hazm or takes from him. And he's 
uh, savory. Those ones are not savory. That means tasty. There's something, in my experience, unlikable about those. وَكُلُّ مَا حُكِيَ عَنْهُمْ فِي الْإِعْتِقَادِ خِلَافَ مَا ذَكَرْنَاهُ فَإِنَّمَا هُوَ كَذِبٌ what is said about the convictions of these scholars being contrary to what we have described is a mere lie. A lie committed by an innovator who wishes to circulate his heresy. And and anyone who does not mind practicing false religion, فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُبَالِي بِنِسْبَةِ الْخُرَافَاتِ إِلَىٰ أَئِمَّةِ الدِّينِ He would not mind attributing fairy tales to the imams of the religion. لِأَنَّ مَنْ كَذَبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَىٰ وَرَسُولِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ لَا يُبَالِي أَنْ يَكْذِبَ عَلَىٰ أَئِمَّةِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ because anyone who would lie on God and lie on the Messenger of God, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, would not mind lying on the Muslim imams. Like Al-Akhfash, who was accused of being a Qadari, though he is a staunch Sunni. It's a scholar of the language. وَمَنْ تُكُلِّ مَفِيهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْحَدِيثِ فَلِقِلَّةِ تَمَكُّنِهِ فِي عِلْمِ الْعَقِيدَةِ مع كثرة ما عرض نفسه إلى ما تشاهب إلى ما تشابه من الآثار من الآثار. As for a few hadith scholars having unsound creeds, that is due to their lack of proficiency in the science of the creed, coupled with their frequently exposing themselves to mutashabi reports, يعني ambiguous hadiths that appear to liken God to his creations. فَقُوَّتُهُ فِي الْحَدِيثِ لَمْ يُنْجِهِ مِنَ الزَّلَلِ فِي الْإِعْتِقَادِ Their strength in hadith science did not save them from slipping in the field of the creed. كَذَلِكَ بَعْضُ أَهْلِ الْفِقُهِ تَكَلَّمُوا فِي مَسَائِلَ فِي الْعَقِيدَةِ بِلَا إِتْقَانٍ فَأَخْطَأُ الصَّوَابِ Also, some who have studied fiqh talked about aqidah cases without mastery and were incorrect. This was added. This here is not from the author. Rather, this is a more accurate statement than what the author said. Because the author, he said, what amounts to, none of the scholars of hadith went astray. None of the scholars of fiqh went astray. So he said something like that. So what's more accurate is that there's a handful here and a handful there. وَإِلَّا فَلَا خَصْلَةَ مِنَ الْمَفَاخِرِ لِأَهْلِ الْإِسْلَامِ مِنَ الْمَفَاخِرِ لِأَهْلِ الْإِسْلَامِ مِنَ التَّبَحُّرِ فِي الْعُلُومِ إِلَى أَنْوَاعِ لِجْتِهَادَاتِ الْفِعْلِيَّةِ Otherwise, there is no issue counted as an accomplishment in Islam, whether feats in sciences or exerted efforts. مثل بناء المساجد والرباطات وسد الثغور Like waging war, building masjids, inns, and guarding the Muslim borders. إلا ولأهل السنة والجماعة القدح المعلى والسهم الأوفر But that Ahlul Sunnah have the greatest contributions to that. It's not very literal statement there, but it's just simply the meaning of what he said. He said it in a fancy way. وَمَدَارُهَا عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ السُّنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ فِي بِلَادِ الْإِسْلَامِ بِالْإِشْتِهَارِ These are overwhelmingly and famously the achievements of Ahlul Sunnah throughout the Muslim lands. Those great monumental messages and the, the books and being the forerunners in all the sciences. It's the Sunni Muslims who are ahead in all of that and responsible for all of that or the vast, vast, vast majority of that. لَنْ يَكُنْ قَطُّ لِلْرَوَافِضِ وَالْخَوَارِجِ وَالْمُعْتَزِلَةِ 
تصنيف معروف يرجع إليه لتعرف شيء من الشريعة. There was never a Shiite Khariji or Qadari with a known classical authoring in fiqh. ولا كان لهم إمام يقتدى به في الفروع. And none of them ever became followed mujtahids. So it's not literal translation. ولم يكد يوجد في أهل تفسير القرآن من وقت الصحابة إلى يومنا هذا من تلوث بشيء من مذاهب المعتزلة والخوارج والروافض. And since the time of the companions until this day of ours, there was hardly any person of tafsir who stained himself with any of the madhabs of the Mu'tazila, Khawarij, or Rawafil. Walam yakad. So it's not what the author said. It's adjustment from what the author said. He also said, like I told you, he said, and none of the people of tafsir went astray. There was hardly any person of tafsir. There wouldn't be about to be, is what it literally would translate as. There wouldn't be about to be amongst the people of tafsir of the Qur'an. So there was hardly any person of tafsir who stained himself with any of the madhabs of the Mu'tazila, Khawarij, or Rawafil. مثل الخلفاء الراشدين ومثل عبد الله بن عباس Including the four caliphs. And Ibn Abbas and Ibn Mas'ud. وزيد بن ثابت رضي الله عنهم and زيد بن ثابت may Allah accept their deeds ومثل المشاهير من التابعين وأتباع التابعين الذين تكلموا في التفسير that also includes the famous tabi'oon and the followers of the followers who spoke about the Quran يعني they gave تفسير كسعيد بن جبير وقتادة وعطاء وعكرمة ومكحول وعطية ومن كان بعدهم كمحمد بن إسحاق بن يسار والسدي وغيرهم ممن جاء بعدهم إلى أن انتهت النوبة إلى الإمام المجتهد الحافظ محمد بن جرير الطبري وأقرانه لك سعيد بن جبير قتادة عطاء عكرمة Makhul, Abdiyah, and others. Until reaching the great Imam, the Mujtahid, and the Hadith headmaster, Muhammad ibn Jarir of Tabari, and his peers. وَالْجُمْلَةُ أَئِمَّةِ عُلُومِ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ كَالنَّحْوِ وَاللُّغَةِ وَالْبَلَاغَةِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْبَصْرَةِ وَالْكُوفَةِ فِي دَوْلَةِ الْإِسْلَامِ The overwhelming community of scholars of grammar and rhetoric from the people of Basra or Kufa have been from Ahlu Sunnah. كانوا من أهل السنة والجماعة من أصحاب الحديث والرأي. So the English is much more condensed in the Arabic. ولم يكن في مشاهيرهم من تدنس بشيء من بدع الروافض والخوارج والمعتزلة. مثل أبي عمر بن العلاء الذي رد على عمر بن عبيد القدري. Like Abu Amr ibn al-Ala, who refuted Amr ibn Ubaid the Qadari, meaning he refuted him with an example in the language. We're talking about linguists here, grammarians. And the case in question is mentioned in the original, At-Tabsiru fi din He said what the case was and how he answered him. That was omitted from here for brevity. Because a lot of those are not easy to translate. We're talking about here... Uh, pulling an example from the language. Sorry for all this nose blowing. I hope I'm not grossing you out. وَلَمْ يَكُنْ فِي أَئِمَّةِ الْأَدَبِ إِلَّا مَنْ لَهُ إِنْكَارٌ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ الْبِدَعَةِ شَدِيدٌ And likewise, there was no leading imam in the knowledge of the meanings of words. But that he had strong objection to the people of heresies. مثل الخليل بن أحمد ويونس يونس بن حبيب وسيبويه والزجاج والمبرد وأبي حاتم السجستاني وابن دريد والأزهري وابن فارس والفارابي والكسائي والفراء والأسمعي وأبي زيد الأنصاري وأبي عبيدة وأبي عمر الشيباني وأبي عبيد القاسم بن سلام like all these names I just read for you that are here 
وما منهم أحد إلا وله في تصنيفه تعصب لأهل السنة والجماعة ورد على أهل الإلحاد والبدعة. There was not a single one of them, but that in some of his authorings, it was clear that he was a staunch Sunni who refuted the people of blasphemy and heresies. And I saw in the dictionary of Ibn Fadis, his dictionary, al maqayith he clears Allah from resemblance to the creations, and he gives some ta'wils for some things that came. Ta'wilat. غير أن جماعة من المتأخرين تدنسوا بشيء من بدع الرفض والاعتزال. However, some latter-day figures got involved with the filth of Shiism and اعتزال. ومن كان متدنسا بشيء من ذلك لم يجوز الاعتماد عليه في رواية أصول اللغة ولا في نقل معاني النحو ولا في تأويل شيء من الأخبار ولا في تفسير آية من كتاب الله تعالى And they dirtied themselves. And whoever stained himself with any of those heresies, it would not be permissible to rely upon him in what he reports about the language, nor his interpretation of a hadith or verse from the Book of Allah. Like as Zamakhshari who deemed Ahlu Sunnah fools. وما للمعتزلة والروافض والخوارج في علم التصوف حظ And they have no share in the science of tasawwuf, those deviant ones. وكيف يتصور فيهم من هؤلاء وكلامهم يدور على التسليم والتفويض وكسر النفس والتوحيد في الأفعال How would it be conceivable that any of them would be true Sufis when the talk of the Sufis revolves around submitting to God and leaving one's matter to his will and fighting one's personal whims and monotheism and believing that God creates the deeds of the slaves? The heretics are those who say that they make their own destinies. So that's much more condensed sentence in the English than the Arabic. If we translate that like it is, it's going to come out longer and wordier. وَذَلِكَ بِمَعْزَلٍ عَمَّا عَلَيْهِ أَهْلُ الْحَقَائِقِ مِنَ التَّسْلِيمِ وَالتَّوْحِيدِ That is contrary to what the enlightened people with finer perceptions of reality believe. So, yani, by the translation, it appeared for me that the Arabic can be condensed, but I didn't want to touch the words of the author in the Arabic text unless I needed to. So the Arabic will be wordier than the English sometimes because I don't want to, I didn't see a need really to change the words of the author in those cases. That's to maintain the uh, the knuckle and the 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 uh, yani, the official status here or to give this book of ours here, this new up and coming Aqidah book, insha'Allah ta'ala, to give it uh, merit to add to its merit and its official status. So we kept the words of the original author as much as possible. فَأَهْلُ السُنَّةِ إِذَا الْجَمَاعَةُ مِنْ سَائِرِ الْوُجُوهِ Therefore, Ahlu Sunnah are the Jama'a in every sense of the word. وَكُلُّهُمْ مُتَّفِقُونَ عَلَى رَدِّ مَذَاهِبِ الرَّوَافِضِ وَالْخَوَارِجِ وَالْمُعْتَزِلَةِ and all of them agree to the rejection of the Rawafil, Khawarij, and Mu'tazilah. However, be on alert. For there have even appeared heretics affiliating themselves with Ahlu Sunnah. Those ones, Khawarij, Shiites, and Mu'tazilah, they didn't used to say, we are Ahlu Sunnah. But there are some who do say, no, we are Ahlu Sunnah. يَخْدَعُونَ الْعَوَامَّ وَيَلْبِسُونَ عَلَيْهِمُ الدِّينَ 
كالوهابية وكثيرين يظن بهم المشيخة They fool the laymen and give them muddled religion like the Wahhabis and many who are thought to be sheikhs. فَجُمِعَ وَتُرْجِمَ الْكِتَابُ هَذَا لِيُفَرِّقَ بَيْنَ الْفَرِقَيْنِ Thus, this book was compiled and translated to differentiate the two groups. فَرِيقِ أَهْلِ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ وَفَرِيقِ أَهْلِ الْبِدْعَةِ وَالْضَلَالَةِ أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعَةِ from أَهْلُ الْبِدْعَةِ وَالْضَلَالَةِ مشيرا إلى العقائد المختلفة والحجج وبعض التواريخ وأسماء الرجال Along with presenting the various convictions, the arguments, and some of the history and names of people involved وبذا يزداد المطلع عليه استيقانا في دينه By that the reader's certainty about his religion will increase ولا ينفض عليه تلبيس المبطلين وَلَا تَدْلِيسُ الْمُخَالِفِينَ لِلْدِّينِ Then, the trickery of the people of falsehood will be ineffective against him. Also, that's less wordy in the English. And all this talk here about these imams, these names, and these different fields. All of this, which we are right here in the very beginning of the book, in the original book, it's all the way at the end of the book. So this is one case where some of the treasures of the book have been opened for you. So something that you would have not gotten until you got all the way to the end of the book, now you got it right here in the beginning. Wallahu ta'ala alam. All that was the introduction.